the SDI GPI link is an indispensable tool if you want to use contact closures to inject tally information on the SDI return feed to your Blackmagic cameras. You want to do that if you're using different production switches than uh, Blackmagic's own ATEM series, because the ATEM series will insert tally data on uh, the return feed to cameras by itself. But if you're using a different system, obviously uh, it, it, it won't work. So you need a way to do that. And uh, most production switches have some kind of GPI function related to it. So that's contact closures, like for, for ordinary tele systems, basically. So when camera is live, then it's, the contact is closed. Or, and uh, there will be a red tele lamp somewhere that lights up. Now, you want to connect the same output to the SDI GPI link box we have here. And that will generate a message on the SDI return feed to Blackmagic cameras. Uh, instead of uh, actually uh, lighting up a, a physical lamp. Now, um, the product is here on our homepage, so you can uh, read a lot of essential information about it. And uh, from this picture, you can see it has digital inputs. In fact, it has 16. And it has an SDI input and output. So the return signal to your camera goes into the input and continues out of the output. And then you will have the tangled signals embedded. If you scroll down the page, you'll see that we also have an option with additional GPIO, uh, eight more inputs and eight relay outputs as well. Good. So um, just to get you up to speed on the scenario that you might want to address here, uh, let's go to the document, the white paper we have released about Blackmagic camera control strategies. And on this illustration, you see the basic scenario. So you could have a production switcher system like a Carbonite or VMix or TriCaster system. And just a footnote here, the TriCaster system recently added support for the Tele uh, for Blackmagic cameras as far as I know, but I don't know if it is the case for all of their switches, but just to let you know that there are some people picking up this protocol. But here we assume that you have such a system with only GPI interface. So there's an output for telelamps and that goes into the SDI GPI link box. Along with the program signal, program output, and then the SDI output from this box goes over to some kind of distribution amplifier. It could be the ATEM talkback converter if you wanna, um, I'm just using that as a worst case scenario thing. Uh, where you want to embed intercom as well, but just something that distributes the feed to all your cameras. So that's the basic scenario. Okay, over here I have a uh, setup that demonstrates it. So um, Blackmagic Micro Studio camera, it has ID number one, monitor that shows the output from the camera. This signal is the SDI out from the SDI GPI link box. It goes to the input of the camera. And the green wire comes from an ATEM switcher, so it uh, carries the uh, program out from the ATEM switcher to the camera. And this SDI GPI link box has been set up with this little utility board where when I press this button, I'm activating an input and that will insert red tally for camera one. So if you look at the tally lamp of the camera up here, you'll see as I press this button, it's lighting up red. So one thing that's important here is that, um, yeah, well, actually, this is the basic demonstration. That's the basic demonstration of this box. Of course, now I could, I could have set up eight cameras and you could see that each input would activate the tally for each of these eight cameras. Uh, I didn't, obviously. Um, but that's the basic function. So now I want to be a little more specific uh, about some technical details, because for those of you who want shading data to pass through, there is a special mode you need to set. Now, all Skyhoy controllers come out of the box in a mode where um, the, uh, the tally output on SDI is only blocking incoming tally signals if you activate a trigger. So Whenever I have activated this trigger, it's going to block all incoming tally signals and then get into override mode. Um, for all shading data, override mode is enabled by default because in almost all cases, I mean, just grab any any remote control for shading cameras from, from us or anything that hosts the um, SDI in and out for, for shading stuff is 
probably designed to actually do that, to, to shade things. So you want to make sure that no competing shading data is passed through the product. Now, in this case, it might be different because you may uh, have purchased the SDI G GPI link for the sole purpose of inserting tally data and passing shading data through. So if you consider the illustration we are looking at here, then um, what you may want to do is in this signal path insert such as a CCU from us that will send shading data to um, send shading data over to the uh, camera. And um, it could also be like I had one customer who wanted to use an ATEM switcher to do that, that um, he wanted the ATEM switcher, that would be equivalent to our CCU, he wanted the ATEM switcher to generate the shading data, but not the tally signals. Okay, so to do this, you need the product to be in a specific mode that's documented in the manual here. It's called momentary override mode. And when you enable this mode, you'll see it when you open the serial monitor of the product. So this is the firmware updater app. It's connected to the product via the, um, there's this, uh, the USB cable here. And uh, if we try to reset, you'll see that the override mode is enabled. It will be told to us right there. So this line tells us that momentary override mode is activated, meaning that any incoming shading data will be passed through. And to give you an example of that, I have now the ATEM software control set up here. And um, let me see. Yeah, uh, so if you look at the, the screen for the camera, you'll see as I pull the handle here, I'm actually shading the camera. But if I go over here and if you see I'm I'm cutting, I should now it reset itself. So actually, okay, maybe I'll just power cycle this guy once more because I told you just before that it was the first trigger that would insert tally data on the signal. So you'll see that as I cut on the ATEM switcher, at first initially it's actually gonna decide if the tally lamp is up until I have the first trigger on the SDI GPI link box and you see that I'm now deciding the tally using the switch and if I cut on the ATEM switcher it's not um, it's not affecting the camera anymore. Okay, so just quickly, maybe let's take a look at the configuration. So if I open the configuration for the SDI GPI link, we'll just quickly see what it looks like to have this kind of functionality embedded. And uh, if I click here, you can see camera one, two, three, four, red tally is set whenever I, I short these, um, these signals. And, um, if we go down to 9 through uh, 16, then you see it's a green tally, which is not supported on this camera, so it will not show up. And you can, of course, set up the output relays as well.